Now, uh, in all of the uh, the press materials that uh, that I was able to read and uh, reviews of your work, uh, your vocal styling is always compared to some real heavyweight artists, uh, guys like Otis Redding and uh, Bill Withers. How do you feel about those comparisons? I mean, uh, they're good. I, I'm, I'm, um, it's a compliment, a dear one. Strong compliments. Sometimes I wonder whether it's lazy journalism. <laughs> that's, you know, that, that's kind of, I was going to lead into that I, and, and ask if it ever bothered you that, uh, that they didn't more look at you as an artist yourself. They immediately had to make a comparison. I, I think with, with the, you know, the type of climate it is, I know that um, a dear, dear friend of mine, um, uh, he, um, he does it for a living. And um, or if, if he can make it a living, and he he swamped with you know fifty CDs a week. Yeah, I know that. Especially really. back in the day, it was you know. Yeah. So I think you know sometimes you have to kind of cut and paste and make some some general statements which are harmless. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all it is. I think, but you know, um, I think people mostly they list, they look at the bullet points and then they listen to it themselves and then they'll find out from the horse's mouth what they what it is you know right. and, and so when i love an art, an artist i'll go on youtube and and things like that and and see what they've got to say do you uh, do you ever worry though about uh, those comparisons that uh, that that people will go in expecting a certain thing and and you're not Bill Withers you're mm. you're not Otis Redding you're mm. Liam Bailey and you're mm. very very good at what you do mm. uh, but do you ever worry about them setting a bar that that maybe might set expectations somewhere other than where you would want them to be Yeah um, but I, I I used to worry about it a lot but I don't worry about it too much anymore because um, essentially. If I worry about that, that'll be like worrying about a conspiracy theory I can't prove. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so, true. You can't control it. Why worry about it? You know. It? <laughs> so, but you know, it is it is an unfortunate burden. But I'd rather that than them writing off the album. You know. <laughs> Good, the, that's the, true. Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah, I, I, it yeah. does frustrate me. You know, like, and I, I know when when um, I first started making music. Um, I was being compared to a lot of people I didn't want to be compared to and it was lazy but I've kind of um, I think if you just persevere and you do your thing people will come on board for you know for what it is you're doing and the people that are blatant rip-offs <laughs> never seem to last too long yeah that's true that's very true you better have a pretty face if you're going to rip someone off <laughs>